So, how do we integrate? And this is the final thing I'm going to talk about. If any of you, by the way, we'll talk about this later, if you want to come to my, this master plan seminar in November, I'm going to open it up. Uh, yeah, some of you should come. Not everybody here. Because I would say 20% of you, it will help you a lot. Because I'm going to do, it's going to be only on the website integration. Like this conference, I have to touch on many things because not everybody's here for the same thing. But let's talk, I'm going to jam in as much as I can get in. Did you see my thing, Maya, that I wrote you? Can someone tell Maya to check WhatsApp and write it up here? Okay. How do you integrate tightly a website? Who here doesn't really have a website that's making the money? Raise your hand. Okay, so about half the room doesn't have a website. So first step, get a website. You can use Shopify. You can use WordPress. Those are two good ones. Write that down if you don't have a website. Shopify, anything else I should add to that? Alex? Click funnels. Infusion saw, but Infusion, yeah, okay, you can do Infusion. Yeah, WordPress I said. Namecheap is a, no, 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 I'm talking about to build your actual website, not GoDaddy. Magento is very old, okay. So, yeah, Wix, uh, Wix is if you don't want to make any money. Tell your competitors about Wix, be like, dude, I went to this conference, I learned about Wix. <laughs> I, I went to this mastermind, remember I told you my friend who doesn't like people that much, but he's really smart. So I go to this mastermind in New York. People paid like, a lot of these, who's been to a business mastermind ever? Most business masterminds in America are 25 to 100 grand. You come a few times a year. I did one two years ago. Who here was in my mastermind, my business builder? Anyone here? Yeah. So people paid 25 to 50 grand, uh, and they stayed with, the, I worked with them for one whole year at my house. They came four to six times. I told him I was only going to do it once. I don't do that anymore because it's, I travel a lot now. I don't want to do it like that. But my friend goes to this mastermind. Everyone there paid 25 grand. He goes, because he wants to learn from other people, but he doesn't want to help others. He's like the opposite of like a, a good Samaritan entrepreneur. So he goes there and they're talking about landing pages and how to get more sales. And he's drawing these things and just like, oh, you want to make your button like this, and you want this wording, and people are like, they know he's good. In the industry, he's not. He's just writing notes and taking pictures. At the end, we went to lunch. He got done. I'm like, because I know him. We were in business. I'm like, that doesn't sound like what actually converts. He's like, dude, I know. I just threw them off for five years. They'll be true. He literally puts up all his losing ideas and teaches them to people. It's, I mean, because he, because what will happen is people will like put it up and be like, it's not converting, so they think it's something wrong. And he's like, ah, I just got rid of a whole slew of competition for myself for five years. Oh, did you also see what I wrote? I did, and I wrote you back. Okay. Sorry, it's October 21st is my next master of mine. Okay, so, yeah, be careful who you learn from. Don't learn from my friend. So step one, let's build the whole thing right now. As much as we can do in the remaining um, hour or something we have. By the way, those of you who end up coming to my uh, master plan, I'm going to do a private dinner. You got, I can't take everybody. Obviously, it wouldn't be a private dinner if it was all of us. But a few of you I'll get to meet after this, too. Um, I'll try to meet, say hello to everybody. I can't take pictures with everybody. I tried this at my house when I had 100 people, and it was insane. I was like, I'll take a picture and talk to everybody. And there was 105 people, and we started at midnight. And at 3.05 in the morning, Rome started getting mean. He's like, don't talk. Take a picture. Get the hell out of here. I got to go to bed. <laughs> so now we have like 600 people. i probably die. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do a group picture. That's what we did in there with like little groups and, okay. I could take, so I can take pictures now or I can do this. Which would you guys rather have? Okay, I can't do both. <laughs> so number one, 
Start, this is a start from scratch, or you can redesign what you're doing now. Okay? Step one. I'm going to recommend Shopify. Okay? I'm just going to pick one. There are other alternatives. ClickFunnels is one. I don't work for Shopify. I'm not even an affiliate. So I don't make a penny off this. And uh, yeah, but you could use ClickFunnels, possibly WordPress, but they don't have Shopify and ClickFunnels. I'll just put that up there. Or ClickFunnels. Not Wix, please. No, not GoDaddy e-commerce. No. Sorry? What about Squarespace? Yeah, Squarespace. These are more like placeholder. I'm trying to talk about a site that people go and they buy stuff. Okay? So you can do it many different ways. Yeah, you can do many ways. You can have your members area hosted, like on MentorBox, we have our, men, our software. I, we're get, that's a little too advanced. Let me just go through this, then I'll try to get more and more advanced. For those of you come, come into the master plan, we'll go like super, because we have a whole day to just do this robotic income concept. Okay, so number two, we basically have set up Stripe. For most things, you can use Stripe to collect credit cards. The other alternative is uh, Braintree. So it used to be very, this, used, this step right here, collecting credit cards, used to be so hard. I mean, it was, I actually am sad that it's this easy now because I used to have no competition because only a handful of people knew how to do merchant accounts really well. So Stripe or Braintree, you know, back in like, 20, I don't know, 13, this guy that I told you that throws everybody off, he paid me a hundred and I think $75,000 to do consulting for him just for like a, a week. And I showed him how to set up merchant accounts and he's made an extra 20 million bucks a year since 2013. So I've made him almost a hundred million dollars. That's why I said coming to these conferences, learning can be worth a lot of money. I mean, he paid almost 200 grand just for that tip. But beautiful thing is now, on that specific subject, you can use Stripe or Braintree. And you get access to Visa, okay? It's even better than PayPal. Be careful with PayPal. PayPal's annoying. Although PayPal now owns, they own Bra Braintree. Yeah, okay. The third, now, certain industries you will not be able to use Stripe or Braintree. Supplements is tricky, certain subjects. But this is for in general, like the divine Healing will be able to use this. Personal fitness, people will be able to use this. Step number three, okay? This is the order you should start building your social media because the social media is the what to the house? What's the website? The website's the... How good is a house if you have no... It's not a house. It's a box. It's a prison, right? A lot of people's websites, prisons, keeping people out. Really. So, web, okay, so step three. So this is the order of social media that I want you guys to follow. Uh, so I'm gonna build it in tier one. These are your highest priorities. Tier two and tier three. And I'm gonna do this on a separate page. It'll be a little, this is a lot of writing. Okay, your tier one is the most important. Okay, so very simple. I want you doing Instagram and email, collecting emails. If you're more advanced, you can collect phone numbers for SMS marketing. This is an advanced thing that I'll teach at my house. Extremely powerful, but extremely dangerous. If you do the laws wrong, you get paid, you get fined $15,000 per, per email, uh, SMS you send incorrectly. But 95% open rate. So I, long time ago, I have my own SMS numbers that I bought from basically like I have my own short code and all that stuff. You don't want to start with that. That costs a lot of money and it's complicated. But simple, instant email. If you're advanced, you can move to SMS. Tier two, okay, is YouTube. All right, now, depends on your market, what I'm gonna write next. If your market, who here's market is older? The, uh, okay. Just over 30, over 30 we'll say, okay? 
So then if your market's older, you want to go Facebook is in tier two. If your market's younger, I would go Snap. I still like Snap. Me and Alex argue on Snapchat. As of today, Snapchat is good. In five years, it, Alex is convinced it'll be gone. Okay, so tier one, tier two. Older market, younger. Tier three, okay, again, a little bit depending on your market. If your market's older, I'm going to go podcast and Twitter, okay? If my market is younger, I'll still, so younger, did so, I heard somebody disagreed. I like disagreement. Who said no way? No? Okay. Phantom noises. Was that you that said no way? Okay. What? Good. What do you? What would you do? What do you disagree with? Yeah. Okay. So he was saying they're younger and they're listening to podcasts. It's evolving. I just got on Spotify. That's a younger market. H3, H3 is a big podcast that has a younger audience, but they haven't been podcasting for that long. It's the, and they don't sell that much. So, yeah, I mean, this is all a judgment call. If you're doing gamers, but they're on Twitch, it's like still, I, maybe I should put iTunes. Not many younger people listen to iTunes. So if you can get on Twitch and spot, that's a more advanced thing. Twitch, sound, uh, not SoundCloud's done. Uh, Twitch and Spotify. I was able to get approved to be on Spotify, but it's hard to get on Spotify. Twitter, I like both directions here. Um, what did I miss here? Insta, email, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Snap, podcast. I think we got everything. LinkedIn, I have, I'm not going to speak on what I'm not good at. I don't know much about LinkedIn. Put it, it's not, it's my weakest area of knowledge. I don't, one thing in life, try to not speak on what, whatever you don't know, whatever the hell you don't know, don't talk about it at all, because you, you sound like an idiot. So LinkedIn, you guys probably know more than me. I've never loved LinkedIn. I've never seen somebody making a ton of money on it. I've seen a few people talk about how the, it's fine if you're looking for a job or maybe, I don't know. I, like I said, there's other things. There's other things that you can do. There's other applicate. There's Telegram, there's all these things that people are using, but I'm just going with the core root ones. Any questions on this? Sorry? Pinterest, not good at it. Uh, it's very specialized. What? What's it called? Oh, Periscope, no, that's part of Twitter. It's, it's, it's purchased by Twitter. Meerkat's dead. YouTube's there. YouTube's in tier two. Reddit, very specialized marketplace. Anchor, yeah, I'd put a Anchor FM. I'd put a lot of the, those ones you guys are mentioning as tier three. They're still important. I still think Twitter's important. But I'll tell you what, if you guys can have, a, just think of it this way. What do you think is going to make you more money? A big email list, big Instagram, or having a big Twitter? Email and Instagram. Here's why, let me talk about why you need Instagram. Instagram now is the way that people verify you're legit. They do. Who here has ever looked at how much followers somebody has? Be honest. Who has ever looked at the follower account on an account that's not yours? A lot of people. I, I'm going to raise the hand for everybody in this room. Unless you're my 99-year-old grandma. Okay? So... When you have everything else working and they go to your Instagram and there's like 38 followers, people are going to be like, mm, something wrong with this guy or girl. Something's wrong with his business. Okay? So I believe you need Instagram. is a powerful, it's front-facing, it's visible. YouTube subscribers are too hard to get. I got a million followers, basically. It's a pain in the butt. I know people working on YouTube trying to get subscribers and get like, it's like, I'm five years in and I've got 20,000 followers. If you go five years hard on Instagram, you'll have 200,000 followers. Instagram's easier to crack the code. 
don't, YouTube subscribers, they're not as valuable unless you're Jake Paul or something like that. Businesses, what you want on YouTube is to know how to upload videos to YouTube. Okay. Any questions on tier two? Yes. Yes, okay, let me talk about this where there'll be some confusion. The door, the door can be two things. The door can be organic people and it can be paid people. So, I'm glad you brought that up. Everything I showed you was, and write this down, very important word, branding. This is branding door. So how many doors do, does a good house have? One? You got a front and a back. Branding is the back door. B for B. Branding. So who here found me through something free? Like who just saw my TEDx talk or something like that and like, okay. So we have people like that. Now, the next door, okay, is the front door. And that's the paid traffic. And that Oh, now let's talk about paid traffic. Paid traffic tier one, tier one here is Facebook. Facebook's the best place for you guys to start driving people to your website for without much skill and with less money. Google Ads is tier one too, also. So that's called AdWords, that's tier one. Tier two, you could put YouTube there. Tier three is pretty much, oh, tier one is also email. You can drive paid traffic to email. And then you have podcast, you could even have here. You can buy traffic on podcasts for cheap. Sponsor, you can sponsor people's podcasts for relatively cheap. Sorry? Bing is, yeah, Bing's great, but it's no volume. Bing's not much volume. On your Facebook, you click the button that says do it on Instagram also? Do you click, does a button on Facebook ads? Do you click the button that says post to Instagram too? No. I, I tend to think that every platform needs to be treated separately. You know there was a man who had a thousand wives. His name was something or other, the bloodthirsty. He lived about a thousand years ago. He had 1,100 kids. If you... What? Paid, what'd you say? Yeah, in Africa, he was like in, he was Algeria, Morocco. Here's the interesting thing about that guy. If you met that guy in a time machine, I bet you his advice would be, you have to, he probably had a lot of women mad at him. That's a, imagine having 1,000 wives. This would not be a good life, right? Or 1,000 husbands for the women. You gotta treat each one specifically. When you make a Facebook ad and you press also add this ad to Instagram, it doesn't perform that well. Best example of this, have you ever seen people whose Twitter is full of like what they posted on Instagram? And it has like a few words that they'll link to Instagram. It's the worst Twitter post known to mankind. If any of you are doing that, I beg you, stop. It, it, if you look at somebody who normally gets 100 likes on their average tweet, those ones get like three. But people keep doing it because when they post to Instagram, it says share this on Twitter. Don't. Nothing should be shared. Only thing I share is I'll put my snaps on my Insta story. The rest is unique content for the most part. My YouTube videos are built for YouTube. My, I, I built them for YouTube and Facebook you can put together. Um, okay, there's going to be a lot of questions. We could, yes. Let me, let me do one quick thing before this, because um, yeah, I'll have time to do this. I don't want to sell you guys anything crazy here, but I want to bring up, I did two master plan seminars. If you're interested in a whole day, just this, at my house, so I live in LA, I live here in Beverly Hills. It's in my house, I open it up, I open, I have a one room, it's like kind of like a living room. I put tables there, and it's an all day thing at my house. I'm there, I bring in a couple other people kind of we have here, and I'm gonna go through this for 
we're going to go through this for basically eight hours. It'd take at least eight hours to do this. Um, so is anybody interested in that? Because I, I want to talk about it for just a second, but I'm not, don't, I don't want you to feel like you came here and I'm just going to sell you something else. It's not. This is not the main thing. I actually, these conferences, I just do them because people get a lot of value and when I haven't done them for like a year or two. So I was like, all right, I'll do, I'll do one. It's a good time to do it in the fall. But these master plan seminars are getting huge results. Yeah. Basically, it goes like this. The bigger the group, the harder it is to give specific advice. I mean, it's just common sense. So we have five, 600 people here. If there's only five people here and I worked with you, and you pulled out your laptop, and I sat with you, we could, do, we could build out this whole thing. You could literally walk out in one day, built. Then you just have to grow it. I can show you how to build it, but I can't show 600 laptops how to do it. Just imagine it would be insane, unless we were all building the same business, but since everybody's different. So at this event, it's usually not 100 people. It's a smaller group, let's say 50 to 100. It's small enough. We'll walk through this whole thing and build stuff. I'll probably have like five or six people from my company help. So I've never done that in the history of me doing any kind of advice. I've never actually sat down and had people, I mean, I've done it, but I've never done it in a seminar. So there's gonna be a special seminar coming up. It's October what, Maya? 21st. Okay, it's a Saturday. October 21st. You fly in, wherever you're coming from, come to LA. We start at around 10, 11 in the morning. Then we go, we have dinner, all the food's provided. You just gotta provide, you gotta get to my house. I'm not, and if you wanna go home the same day, you can, or you can stay in a hotel. There's lots of hotels for like 100 bucks a night near me. You come, you bring your laptop, you bring your, well, I'll give you some, a little bit of like background work so when you come, you're ready. And we'll just build this stuff in one day and be done with it. And then you go and grow it. Okay. And this is the same, by the way, I give you guys stuff. I don't really hold back that much. The only time I hold back is like when it's not realistic. Some people are asking me very advanced things. It's not realistic. I'm going to go into Twitch, you know, podcast strategy. Look at how many strategies we need to go through. But I want you to walk out and one day, those of you who come will work on the website if you need help with Shopify. We'll, work, we'll build out the social media. If you already have the social media up, we'll go through and create a model of templates of what you need to be posting. I will give you this advice. I promise you, people will pay me a million dollars for this advice. Corporations all day. If you notice, I haven't gone to one corporation. Now, I've had Toyota come to me and I've done a little bit, but. My dream in life is not to make the maximum amount of money by helping Coca-Cola grow their brand. I, 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 I can, my friend is friends with the CEO of Coca-Cola, or it's actually the, CT, uh, the CFO. I can get to Coca-Cola at any time with one phone call. But I'd rather help people like you because you guys are like me. I didn't grow up. Corporation to me is like a rich kid who was born to a rich dad or a rich mom. It's not that exciting, right? If I can, Jaden's story, Samir, you know how many stories I have? I'll put it this way. I get so many testimonials from the stuff we're teaching that I had to assign one and a half full-time people to keep track of testimonials coming in. It's a lot. Sometimes people, even on H Street, H Street, he was like, no, don't think, thank, thank the people doing it. Thank the people doing it. One thing I asked Jaden and, and, and Samir, and they're like, what did you do different that you're getting such big results? They're like, we just did what you showed us. And if I could go back in time and be 21 and have somebody just lay out the third wave, I can show you the third wave. Okay? I'm not going to put this up on my YouTube video. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to create a lot of people watch my YouTube video. I'm not going to create 10 million competitors to me. But at my house, we got 50, 60 people there. I'll show. I'll show you. Okay? So if you want to come to that, I'm going to talk a little more, and then what we're going to do, because we've got to be out of here by 11, towards the end, it's 10 now, basically, about 10.30 or 10.45, everybody who's not interested can just get up and go out, network, eat, whatever you want. We'll basically be over. 
Um, if you are interested in just learning more details, because I don't want the people not interested, I don't want you to have to listen to something you're not interested. If you're interested in learning more, because you have to apply to the master plan seminar at my house. I don't let everybody in. Now I try to, we let in 80 to 90% of people, but 10 to 20% of people, either we won't help them or they're trying to build a shady business. I don't want to like help somebody build Silk Road, you know, drug paraphernalia, you know, I don't want to be involved. So we have an application. So by staying in the room, it doesn't mean you're paying any money. It doesn't mean anything. If you just want to hear more details on exactly all the stuff, and if you're not interested, go out, network, hallways. Okay, does that sound good? Yeah. So I'm gonna go back to this. Um, so, paid traffic. You need both. You need a front door, you need a back door. I know a lot of people with front doors with no back door. I know people with back doors with no front door. Now, what do you practically do? This is not, still not enough. What's the website built on most of you should build on? Shopify or ClickFunnels. Okay. No. Nope. What do you then plug in the credit card to? Stripe or Braintree. Okay. Then what's your tier one backdoor branding? Instagram and email or text if you're advanced. What's your front door that you need to get set up? Facebook and email and possibly Google AdWords. Sounds like a lot. Nowadays, I can build all that. What can we build it in, Alex? One day? Imagine what happened in wave one. When your parents were young, you went to high school, you, from elementary to high school, you spent 12 years in school. Then you went to college, four years. And then you worked, you know what the average pay increase in America is? Two to three percent. You started out at 50 grand, you retired at 100 grand. Using third wave techniques that are set up in one day, they're not finished, but they're started in one day. You have Jaden, no bank account in his life, 11 and a half months ago. He only had enough money to afford my course, 1,000 bucks he paid. And then he just did it. And within one month, he had 35,000 in a bank, his first bank account. Not bad, my first bank account had like 100 bucks in it. They're like, you gotta fund the bank account. I'm like, oh, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> you know, I, I fund it with pennies, nickels. So, Anyone feels, who feels overwhelmed a little bit by what I just said? If you're feeling overwhelmed, you got to recalibrate your brain. It used to take 15 years or 50 years and you still wouldn't make 100 grand a month or a year. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying you guys are learning it here in an hour or two. Those who come to master plan one more day and you're up and going. If you think that's overwhelming, there is no solution for you. You will never make money. I'm a realist. I meet people, I just look them in the eye, I'm like, don't buy my programs. You are so far down the matrix with the wrong pill, you're unfixable. Now, I hope it's not someone here, but I promise if I went person to person, there's some people here that, and now all you gotta do is take the other pill and all of a sudden your life changes. That's like the moral of the matrix kind of thing. Once you buy into something, and it's not a cult following, it's, Put it this way, anybody who thought they would be fat for the rest of their life will never even step into the gym. If you have zero belief, why would you go to a gym if you're sure nothing will ever change? So the first step is you must have a little faith, but you don't need much faith. That's the cool thing about the young people that follow me, they have more faith. For all of you older, you have an advantage. The older people in this room have advantage. Your advantage is, no. very simple, you have more capital, more connections, more experience. Your disadvantage, but you have a disadvantage. It's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. Although, an old dog can learn new tricks if it decides to. That's what scientists have found. The main thing is older people are stubborn and they're also too in love with their own ideas. The downside of being young, for those of you young, you don't have much cash, much connections, or much experience. The upside is young people have more faith. And I think it evens out.
I think if you're young here, you got about the same chance as somebody who's old. No less, no more. And older people don't have any of it. That's the cool thing about the third wave. It equalizes everybody. Third wave equalizes everybody. Oh, you're Kodak? You've been in business for 100 years? I don't care. The market doesn't care. Goodbye. Oh, Sears, you've been around for 200 years? Close your stores. There's a new boss in town. He's 30. Goodbye. But you also have older people. Warren Buffett. He's taking the third wave. Second, the two richest people in the world are both old. Bill Gates. And so don't think it's an age thing. Don't think it's a gender thing. More female billionaires than any time in history that didn't inherit their money. Females. Black, white, Asian. You got everything going rock and roll now. So now it really comes down to who's guiding you, number one. Because remember I said hard work when you're going in the wrong direction gets you what? More lost. I had a guy come to my house the other day. Oh, Ty, I got an app idea. This da 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 da. What do you think of it? The second he told me the idea, I was just like, oh my God, it may be the worst idea in history. <laughs> Can you pull up uh, American Idol, worst singer in the world? You remember when Simon looks at the guy and he goes, you may be the worst singer in America. And then he has another guy come and he goes, remember I called that other guy the worst singer in America? You may be the worst singer in the world. It's the, it's the Madonna one. Put in the like a virgin. Well, this guy came to me and I wanted to be like Simon Cowell. You, sir, have the worst idea in America. All right, here we go. Yes. So Keith, why are you here? I'm here because I think I'm the next American Idol. I'm very entertaining and unique. Mm. Okay, and what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing Like a Virgin from Madonna. Okay, cool. Okay. I was dead, incomplete. I've been had, I was sad, blue, but you made me a fear. <laughs> yeah, you made me a fear, shiny and new, like a virgin. Touch for the very first time, like a virgin. Yeah. Um, last year I described someone as being the worst singer in America. I think you're possibly the worst singer in the world <laughs> based on that performance. And I'm absolutely <laughs> serious. His I've face. never ever He's heard so anything like that. He's so downtrodden. Ever. Watch what Randy says. Keith, that was horrific, man. Well, it was you when you said interesting and unique. You said a mouthful. Oh my God. No, but Keith, you, you've got to hear yourself to believe it. <laughs> there is got... nobody on this planet who sings like you. Really. You've got to be kidding me. I'm being absolutely serious. I, I mean, are you serious? I don't think I'm the best singer in the world, but hey, I think I'm a good singer. What else right, do you love you to do? All right, you can pause it. Well, I like to dance. I love he goes... Randy Jackson goes, what else can you do, man? He goes, well, I can dance. He goes, maybe you should become a dancer. But when this guy came to me, he goes, I got this app. It w I literally was like, it was, I can't, it was so bad, I don't even want to say it. I'm just like, I go, how much money did you put in this? He's like, I put my life savings, $1 million, into building it. I said, have you launched it yet? He's like, no, I wanted it to be perfect before I launched it. One million, and it was his life savings. He was like 61 years old. I see that all the time. So there was an example of a guy working hard, had cash, had connections, had experience, but no guidance. Guarantee he's done. I've never heard from him again. I wasn't even mean. I didn't even say anything. I just was like, you're very interesting and unique, kind of like they said there. It's a very interesting, unique. So if you can combine all those things, this is not that hard. The guidance is not that hard. Now let's talk a little bit. We've got enough time for a little bit specifics. Is there anything you know? We'll do a rapid fire session on this stuff right here. Yes. Just yell out. We won't even wear for a mic. I'll, I'll record. Yeah, I'm in your social media marketing class. I'm a photographer. Um, and my day is kind of like this. I have a daughter. Yes. Okay, so you have a non-interesting life. How can you make good social media? Good answer for you. 
Who here doesn't have a business partner? Okay, you're making a mistake. There's a great book called Working Together. Uh, practical tip, Working Together by Michael Eisner. Great story, goes through how many billionaires had business partners, most of them. I have a business partner. I've had 13 business, I think you're my 14th business partner, Alex. Lucky 14, is it? I don't know if 14 is lucky. But they're all friends. Joel Salatin's my first business partner. We're still business partners. I have zero bad experiences with business partners. Knock on wood. I had one bad experience before we signed the document to become business partner. Thank God. Woo! Yes. But when you, by having a business partner, find an interesting business partner, he does the Snapchat or she does the Snapchat. It's a it's simple, dude. I, Mentor Box is making a million dollars a month. Okay? I spend exactly. No more, no less than one hour a month on it. So divide by 30, I spend three minutes a day. Maximum. I don't think I spend three minutes. Now I spend three minutes because I check the Stripe account every day. That was my complete work. So if you make a million dollars a month working one hour, who can do the math on how much I'm making per hour? Now it's not me, it's the gross revenue, but what is that? A million dollars an hour? One hour, one million. Who here would like to work for one million dollars an hour? No, it's a million an hour. A million an hour. That's because I have a business partner. Some of you are doing too much on your own. That's why I said, come to this. Find a business partner. Master plan seminars, people even more serious. Find, a, find somebody who's a business partner. Yes. Yeah. Advice to start for something? Robotic income. That bad boy right there. Remember earlier I gave five businesses? You t what was one of the businesses that stuck out to some of you? The 18 for 18. How to lose 18 pounds doing these 18 stretches. So what are we going to do? Let's go back here. I gave you the formula. What are we going to do? We're going to go to Shopify.com. We're going to open up a website. We can also, maybe I'll add one step before this. Go Daddy. Somebody here go buy, is going to buy something related to 18. It doesn't have to be. It could be anything. It could be long domains. If your domain's taken, don't spend 100 grand. It could be 18 exercises that get you thin.com. Trust me. It'll still index on Google. Um, people, still find, people find sites by just typing it in. You don't have to, they don't do direct typing that much. So you buy a domain on GoDaddy. You put it up on Shopify or ClickFunnels. You get your Stripe account. You focus on the back door first, which is you get a simple Instagram account up and an email account that's going to start dripping out some of the 18 tips, but not all of them. You're going to create some videos. You're going to find, if you, who here is not in great shape but can find somebody who's in better shape than them? Yeah. You're the business person. You don't have to have the six pack. Get a six pack of the mind. Let them have six pack of the ab. You can have six pack of the bank account. It's a good deal. Mr. Lowe, it's, I, I had yeah. a different question. Okay. I'm 16 years old and I'm like to totally at the beginning with, you can't say nothing. What would be your advice if you turn like time back? Because I'm from Germany, it's different. Competition is in Germany different than in... I wouldn't sell in Germany. I'd be selling in the United States from Germany. Yeah. So what, what, would we, what would you say yourself when you were 16 and you were at the beginning with nothing? What would you do? Like, what would be the Steal greatest Steal those advice? three pages from Ty Lopez's whiteboard and do them. That's what I would say. Go to GoDaddy. Well, no, there's one page before where I gave the five things. Re take a picture of those. Do one of them. Why not? Why not? Are you interested in health at all? Yeah. In, go in, in, Hi in health? What about yeah. in street fighting? Make the website. Who here is going to make the website? I'm telling I you. I just want to use these sites for making money as a tool to yeah. invest in bigger stuff. Of course. So, so what you say your greatest advice from my age is to learn or to work? What is it? Simultaneous learning working. Both. Both. Okay. Every time I do a jujitsu class, there's no jujitsu academy that's just chairs. Okay. They go, come on here. What? Go there. Me? No, no, not you. I'm telling you what. But <laughs> they, the jujitsu, you go sit there. 
Okay, let me show you this general technique. You're going to do the guard. This is to protect you when you're on the bottom and someone bigger is trying to beat your, beat your ass. You're gonna put your legs around their leg and hold them back, uh, around their back. Ready? Let's do it. See, that's integrated learning doing. That's what we're gonna do. I wish we had more, I wish I could do it with 600 people. It'll be chaos from hell if everybody has their phone or laptop, but you could do this if you had a laptop. Make sure you bring a laptop if you come hey, to the master plan thing. Ty, can I have a question real quick? Yes. So um, investing, so if I'm trying to, I'm running an affiliate marketing business right now and yep. I, I need more capital for my Facebook ads, what would be a good percentage when I'm pitching investors to say, hey, if you give me $20,000, I give you 10%, 20% royalty, what, you, what would be a good? You don't wanna give royalties. You, you basically, so here, okay, let's talk real fast about how to get money from people. You wanna know how to get money from a lot of people? in an ethical, safe, profitable way from investors. Find 20 investors who each give you a thousand bucks. Say, give me a thousand bucks for a week, I'll give you $1,100 back. No, not everybody's gonna do it, but if you get 20 people who give you a thousand, that's how much? 20,000. If you give them back $100 on top of their thousand a week later, how much is that? 22. 22,000 you have to give back. So that you get, you take 20,000 from them, you put it in a bank account. You then wire it all back to them, but with $100 on top of it. So that costs you two grand to do, right? Now you have 20 people who trust you. You call them back and say, you mind giving me 20 grand? You will triple your conversion rate. Some of you should have started borrowing small amounts. Pigs get what? What do hogs get? Slaughter. Every kid, every woman, every man coming is just a hog with money. I've never borrowed money, I've never had an investor. Do you mind giving me 500,000? Yes, I mind. <laughs> you, 500, somebody come to me, give me 500. They have a real simple business plan I can understand. I just wanna show you that I'm trustworthy with your money. I'll send you back 550 bucks. Does the brain look at absolute numbers or contrast or emotions? Do super quote unquote intelligent people still act emotionally? Would you trust somebody? What do you think when you give somebody money, Lynn? Do you really, are you a little suspicious you're not gonna get it back? Yeah, so is everybody. Somebody you just met? You must plant the seeds with a lot of investors, small amounts, not being a hog, being a pig, and give them their money back on time a little ahead of time and then the purses start opening up. It only takes one or two times like that that they trust you. So that's my advice, that's how you raise capital. Now you can still do the way of going to VCs, you can do all that, or you can try a way that's available to everybody here. Even if you can't get 20 people to give you a thousand, get one person in your family to give you a thousand, tell them you give them, a, and don't touch the money, it's the key. And say, I'll give you 10% on your money in one week just to show you I'm trustworthy. Give them back 1100 one day early. Show up. Thank you. Ty. Then leave and wait for a week or two or three and be like, remember, I got something better. 10000 It Ty. just go up in zeros. Yes. Is everything that you're talking about up here, is this for like drop shipping or are you just talking about selling information? Everything. This formula right here, robotic selling, if I wanted to sell a health product, if I want to sell protein shakes, if I want to sell fitness, if I wanted to sell bras on Amazon, if I wanted to sell solar, I would do the same thing. One thing you might not need is Stripe as much, but I'll tell you one thing you can do with an offline business, you can charge people for a consultation. What is a better lead for solar panels on the house? Somebody who you're coming off as, I want to talk to you, or oh, you want to talk to me, it's a hundred bucks. Put in your credit card. I'll create a high-level consultation. It instantly changes the psychology. You know one of the best tricks in cold calling? I did this with life insurance. I didn't charge because I didn't know how to use Stripe back then, but I made people fill out a long form, and then it would say, it would put a time they wanted me to call. I'd call them and I'd say, it's the best opening line to cold calling ever. Hey, this is Ty. I saw you wanted to talk to me. Like it changes the whole call. I saw you put on this form, you wanted, you wanted to take some of my time and you wanted to talk to me. So what's up? That's how I do my cold calls. And then I'd mute the phone 
And it's just like, people were like, oh yeah, I really wanted to understand what you wrote in life insurance tricks and da 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 My first week in life insurance, I did a case that the commissions, it ended up not closing, but we did a different type of deal, was $150,000 commission from a kid who never made any money. I remember going, what? The, the CEO of GE Financial called me. He was the CEO of the Southern Region, John McGilchrist. We're still friends. He called me. He goes, I got to talk to you. I said, why? I said, are you doing something illegal? I said, why? He said, you're submitting, uh, I did 33000 in one week of commissions, okay? Which the average life insurance person makes uh, $500 to $1,000 a week. And I submitted 33000 with no experience, no contacts. And he literally, he's like, dude, what are you doing? I didn't want to tell him I was using the internet because I thought other people would steal my idea. So I was like, dude, it's totally above board. These people want me to call them. And I was doing like 20 life insurance applications. I was doing more applications than the average person did in a year. I was doing it in one week because I automated robotic income, a non-traditional funnel. It's not, so yes, the answer is it's not just for drop shipping. Use the same freaking thing for everything. You might not need Stripe, but you could use something. ClickFunnels, you, you can set up a non-credit card funnel easy. I have my own software, but that's more complicated. I spent 10 million bucks building my own. And then ClickFunnels came along and I'm like, damn it! I already spent 10 million dollars building my own, so I still use my own. Yes? Go ahead, just yell it out. Awesome. So the social media agency is already making you money. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, so can you take this to non-US countries? Absolutely. You will kill it. Um, I was talking to a friend who built a funnel in Brazil. And his funnel was not to sell stuff. It was to raise capital. He did a cryptocurrency ICO. You guys know what a cryptocurrency? It's basically raising money for investors. He raised, this is hilarious, $10 million from the country of Brazil in three days with a funnel. They gave him 10 million in cryptocurrency, which he can convert to the US dollars to build a business. You know what the business is? He hasn't figured it out yet. It's like an online clock or something. It's the weirdest idea, but he knew how to create, he, and he did exactly this. Now there's one thing that I didn't, that's, very, that's an important thing here, that's I think on this page. He understood, so the psychology angle, he positioned an ICO as something you don't want to miss out on. 10 million, who would like to bring in 10 million dollars from investors in one week? That's what he did. He's an American, he, but he, I don't know why, he targeted Brazil as his marketing. Maybe he had a friend or something in Brazil, but he got thousands of Brazilians to put money in. Legally, by the way. One more question. How's it so. going, Ty? Um, oh, yeah. I was just wondering what, back here. Hey. Oh. Um, with the growing prevalence of live video with stuff like Facebook Live and YouTube Live, how do you see that impacting social media marketing? And do you have any plans for utilizing it? In I use event? live. Live is more advanced. Uh, for, some of you can use live, but I see people doing live and they have like one person on it. I'm like, I have a friend who tweets 10 times a day. He's never gotten one like. I'm like, who are you tweeting, tweeting to? Like, yes, you want to start from scratch, but you don't want to tweet to zero people. Same with live. In the formula I have up here, you're going to get the back door, which is Instagram tier one, two, three, to at least ideally 10,000 followers, then you start going live. So live is tier four. Yeah, I've gone live. When I play basketball, sometimes I get 350,000 people watch me shoot basketball and talk about business. The LA Staples Center where the Lakers play only holds 18,000. I literally have like 30X what the Lakers have, it's, or 20X, it's insane. So live is powerful, but it's a more sophisticated tool. Some of you, don't start with live. Start with Instagram followers and email addresses. Trust me. I'm talking about, you won't get this advice from people who don't know what they're talking about, but if you want to talk about making money, remember money, if each of you can start making money, you can reinvest the money. You guys see what I'm saying? 
You need money as the fuel to keep growing the business bigger and bigger. If I stopped making money with my businesses, I wouldn't be able to grow my social media. So, it's 1035. There's still time for networking. Um, and I'm going to do this. Is there any super urgent questions? Just like you're near death. Yes, just yell them out real fast. The quicker, the, fa the better. What I do differently on 19 again? I answer that question, man. I'm telling you, this third wave, I would try to. Well, the third wave wasn't around when I was 19, but if I was 19 today, I would be so locked in on this third wave thing. It's going to be gone. Some of you in this room are going to remember this conversation, and you're going to go, I knew better, and I missed it. And you're going to have an amazing excuse why you missed it. Well, I didn't have the money, I didn't have bull. If you could go back in time and start Netflix, you would put everything onto it. You would quit your job, you would take all your money, you'd borrow from your friends, you would get it done. I'm telling you, get it done. There will be a lot more Jadens. Jaden's making $125,000 a month, guys. Probably 50% profit margins. Are you making, he's 21. 11 months ago he started listening to me. This is not a made up story either. I've looked at bank accounts, my lawyers have looked at it. This is real stuff that works. Yeah, he's got a mic, go ahead. Um, green ener uh, GreenEnergyFilters.com, I wanted you to take a look at that. Website. Green Energy Filters, uh, pull that up, we'll do it while we'll take somebody else's question. I, pre I appreciate it. Yeah. Go ahead, just yell it out. All right, so it's, yeah, it's like the website optimization. Yes. You have a website too? All right, this is a thing. You guys should come to my master plan thing because we're going to run out of time. Okay. Good. Yes. Let me, let me do this website right here. What do we think? I'm testing your guys' skill. Who has skill? What's, what's bad? Yeah, the, the design is slightly off. Another thing that's wrong is I cannot tell what it does quickly. Green energy filters, I don't know what a, I unfortunately don't know what a green energy filter is. Do you guys know what a filter, green energy filter? So I don't know what it is. It, the guarantee thing is too big. You want a guarantee, but not that big. Yeah, that's a filter behind. Oh, it's like a green, okay, like an air filter? Yeah, yeah it, this needs to be reworked. This needs to be reworked. It's too caught. Yeah, you should be on autoplay if you could. All right, let me stop here because or else it's going to go, we're going to have two trillion questions. By show of hands, who got something? Remember, pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. Who got one thing at least, doesn't have to be from me, from any of the speakers that you can take away? Okay. Who, didn't, who knew everything we talked about, every speaker spoke on? Anybody? Okay, good. So we have no pure narcissist. It'd be impossible to know everything that every speaker talked about. So here's what we're going to do. I want to do a quick Snapchat to say, I'm going to do a group video. And then what we're going to do is, everybody who's not interested in learning about the Master Plan Seminar, I want you to get it, go network right out there. Everybody who wants to learn more, how it works, what the application process is, what it costs, all that, stay in here. I don't want to waste anybody's time who's not interested. But let's do this. Was this worth the 100 bucks or whatever you guys spent? OK. All right, everybody, say hello to Snapchat. We're still going here. If you want this video, take another phone, go to Snapchat, watch my story, and video it. It's the best way. Unfortunately, you can't download Snapchat. Okay, so here's what we do. Anybody not interested, by the way, there's still good networking. Use the tools. What was one of the tools to be a better networker when you walk out of here, if you do walk out now or later? Should, what's the number one word that should be in your head? Be 
cool, just normal. You don't have to go up to somebody with energy. You know what, Ty Lopez here, great to meet you, sir. I am, we should talk, but it's, not, it's too weird, it's too dramatic. Don't also be like, I, Sty, I'm shaky. Just, uh, just like, hey, everybody's a human here, okay? So, thank you guys so much. Thank you. All right, everybody stay seated and come towards the front who wants to hear more. Everybody else, I'm gonna have a security just make sure if you wanna talk, right out there. Infinite talking. Everybody else who wants to hear more, you just go in the chairs, you don't have to come all the way up. I want you to be comfortable. Come to the front rows here. Oh, oh everybody, raise your hand, we're gonna do a few pictures. We'll do it again. No stage, no stage. Rome's gonna start tossing people in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, is everybody coming? You can stay in your seats. Come in the front seven rows if you want to learn more how to apply for this robotic learning. Not doing that. You need to exit. Yeah. Doing pictures and none of that. So if you're not staying, how you doing, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Okay, let's start. I'm gonna start talking about it right now. Everybody else, either stay or go network. Get value. Yes. Scaling an art business. You sell an art? You should sell your art and other people's art. Both. And you got multiple sources of income. Yeah, but I'm saying become, you could become a broker of other people's art too. Yeah. Here, let's do it once the mic comes so everybody can hear. All right. We got everybody here who's interested. If somebody's talking near you, just tap them on the shoulder. See if we can get everybody. Where's the dudes who are tough here? I need 100 bouncers. Start practicing right hooks on anybody who's talking. No, just joking. Don't do that. There's only 12 moves you gotta learn. All right, everybody, shh, thank you. Good lesson there. You know what works better than one person telling people to shh? A whole group. What psych psychological bias is that? Social proof. By the way, you know the best way, who here has ever had a hater comment on their comments? Like somebody said something nasty to you. Let me show you what destroys them. It's not you replying, because they don't like you. What you have to do is get your followers to reply to people. Then they freak out because they're like, ooh, I don't like them, but thousand, I don't want a thousand people mad at me. This one guy one time said something mean about my grandma. I don't know why. And I posted on my Snapchat, I was like, I wish I could find this guy and beat his ass. And I posted it, don't do that. My lawyers later are like, oh my God. This dude was a Wilhelmina model in LA. He had 30,000 Instagram followers. 20 minutes later, he deleted his Instagram. He sent me a DM, he's like, dude, I'm getting death threats. I beg you, take down your Snapchat. He didn't care when I said something to him. But the second 500 people wrote him like, where do you live, I'm coming for you, son. And he just was like, he's like, nope, I'm off Instagram. He's never, I've checked, he's gone. I didn't do that on purpose, but. The practical lesson for your website is, did you guys notice none of these websites had testimonials on them? Like that's not good. That's what I was saying about the travel one. It should have shown people on amazing trips. So make sure, what? 
but not up high. I didn't see any above the fold. And it doesn't count when it's too low. No one ever sees it. Okay, so let's talk real quick on this master plan. So I don't have room for everybody here. There's probably 200 and... Everybody over there, tap Kate. Kate, can you be a bouncer over in that corner? No? All right. So here's how this works. I'll get to the point because we got to be out of here in like 15 minutes. Oh yeah, everybody take a seat. So everybody, because you're blocking the people behind you, if you don't mind. Everybody in the back still talking. See how that works? A group works better. Okay, so here's how it works. It's going to be October 21st, so it's not too far from now, it's a couple weeks, Saturday, at my house, you show up around 10.30, 11 in the morning, and we go till 9, 10. We'll have food at my house, we'll have a lunch, we'll go out to dinner usually, at the end, I'll go. Sometimes if we got time, we'll go to a comedy club. There'll be between 50 and 100 people there, most likely. Um, I've had a small one, I didn't announce it. I've done a few where I hardly announced them. We had about 35, and the biggest has been 100. I've only done three. I've never done this one. This is gonna be a cool one. They get better. I'm gonna sit, you're gonna bring your laptop. If you don't have a laptop, borrow a laptop, because it'll be too hard to do on phones. We're gonna start at 11 in the morning, building, okay? The goal is, by the time we go to eat, 8 p.m., your business is off the ground, at least the seed. It's obviously, in one day, not going to be a finished product, right? But you'll be surprised. We're gonna get a lot done. If you don't have the right social media channels up, we're gonna build them. If you don't have a Google AdWords account, we're gonna build them. Now, between me and Alex, I'm gonna try to get Alex to be there. Where is Alex? We've spent $600 million on advertising. We can teach, there's very few people in the world that have spent as much as me and him. We'll be there, so you can buy a book on it. Perry Marshall has a good book on Google AdWords. I was almost the first person ever on Google AdWords. So I can show you, I know what it was like in 2001, and I know what it's like today. Alex, when did you get on ads? Yeah, so he's a newbie. No, I'm just joking. Uh, 2007, he's been on there 10 years. I've been on there basically about 17 years. I'll, I'll, it'll be us, I'll have a couple other of my guys that I work with. Maybe we'll get Joe Soto. Um, Joe, you wanna come? Is he here or out networking? We'll be there. There's gonna be a cool test group. Now, just so you know, I do these test groups and these test groups have amazing results. What I mean by test group is, I'm not gonna do this all the time, because it's a lot of heavy lifting, and it's gonna be a brain damage day. That's what we call it. Like, I'm gonna build businesses for people. Um, so if you want to do that, you gotta do three things. Number one, we have an application. My, how many people from my team is here? Raise your hand, you can see the shirts. Okay. So you're basically gonna go to the back of the room and talk to them because they'll get you all set up. I'd say 80 to 90% of people who want to apply, we're gonna let you in. Like I said, be honest, if you're about to start heroin cartel, Cali cartel Medellin, we're gonna not, I'm not building, you know, calicartel.com, buy your Kush stuff. Like, uh, Kush is legal, but not, not Yayo. Yayo.com, we're not gonna do. <laughs> So that's step number one. Step number two, there's a fee, obviously. But um, I'm going to do this one because I've been testing different prices. I did a two-day one was $10,000. Um, and I've done ones that are, I've tested a few things. Here's the deal. It's five grand, but for anybody who's here today, if you're done, if you sign up, pay today, I'm going to do it for 2,500 bucks. By the way, that's a real price. So it's not like I'm saying it's 10 grand and I'm, di you know how like, my friend went to Mexico and a Mexican guy came up to me, he's like, you want this rug? And my friend's like, how much? And he's like, okay, $10,000, but for you, my friend, 
I'm gonna divide it in two, 5,000. And you know what, I really like your shoes. So I'm gonna do it times 0. 0.5. And he went all the way down to $100. So this is not a Mexican rug sale. Okay, the two day one was 10 grand. Uh, this one's a little different and I want to do, in order for the test group to work, I need to, ha I wanna have enough people in there because I don't wanna just help three people Right, because some people are skeptical. There's like three people on stage, right? So like, oh, I work for those three. Now, I, I could have invited 100 people or 1,000 people, but, but if I take a test group of 60 people, build 60 businesses in a day, I'm pretty sure that's a Guinness Book World Record thing. There's never been one afternoon. And if you already have a business, we'll refine the business and fix the business, okay? I only promise that I'll be there one day this is not lifelong access to me or Alex. It's not realistic. Um, I wouldn't do that for 2,500 bucks. So, uh, and then the third thing is, um, well, the third thing is good for you, is I got 100% money back guarantee. So you come there, you don't think it was worth it. I'll send you your money back. Cannot get better than that, okay? All right? And. To date, I've refunded any person who's ever asked. I have no pending refunds anywhere. Any human that's ever wanted a refund has gotten a refund, okay? I've done this refund guarantee on things where people paid me 50 grand. I have a very low refund rate. I had a consultant come in. In my industry, I was a third of the average refund rate. That's how all of you will know, and that's a lesson for each of you. Put 100% money back guarantee on your stuff. If you believe in your stuff, Believe in it. 